Hello guys, welcome to Code Design. Today I am going to show you how I set up my Mac and VS Code for competitive programming. For this, I assume you already have a Mac with VS Code and Xcode installed. If you don't, there are tons of videos on YouTube uh, on how you can install these softwares. So kindly watch them first and come back. So let's get started. So hello guys, the first thing that I would like to show you is how to create this quick action open in VS Code. To create this, press command space, open your automator app, choose quick action, uh, then click on this finder icon, select this get specified item, uh, get specified finder items, drag and drag it to this work to your workflow. Now select open finder items, drag it. One thing to notice here is that these two should be connected and uh, now select the default application uh, you will not find vs code here so choose others press v and vs code should pop up however if it does not pop up you can just scroll and search for it here then click choose and you are almost done press command and uh, command s and type open in vs code now i have already created this quick action so i will not click save but uh, you have to click save okay? and it should work and now you can just right click any folder and uh, there should be this available and it should be working fine if for some reason it does not work as it should or you do not see the quick actions at all then you need to follow the steps again and it should work fine now we go to our next section the next thing i'd like to show you are two cool chrome extensions which will help you in competitive programming so the first is the coding buddy extension you can just google search it and the first link will be there uh, just add it to your chrome here i have already added this so basically it tells you which are the li currently live contests and which are the upcoming contests you can just go to settings and take the take those websites which you which where you practice your coding contest then uh, then the next one is competitive companion chrome extension basically it connects your google chrome to the uh, to your vs code editor and uh, it will help you import the sub test cases and uh, the questions etc from, from your google chrome to your vs code editor just add it to your chrome and when you see these two then we are done now we move on to the next section Hello guys, in this section we will be installing some extensions for our VS Code. So go to your extension tab and uh, search for the language in which you code. For example, if you code in C, just search for C and uh, you should find the C, C++ extension back, you can install it. If you code in Python or Java, you can search for that and you will find some extensions for that. Basically, you need to see if uh, that extension provides you the intelligence. Then we will install Code Runner extension. Basically, it gives you this uh, this arrow key. Where you can just tap it and run your code using this extension. Then you need a CPA Judge extension. It will help you forming this sir test cases. You will not be. Uh, you, you do not have to uh, always enter your test cases manually it will just it will be spontaneous and it will save a lot of time for you then then competitive companion extension remember we installed it in our chrome we also need it in our, in our vs code it will import it will help in importing those test cases so these are the extensions we need after we have installed our uh, extensions, now we will uh, change some settings in, for, in our VS Code. Uh, go to your settings tab and uh, so, uh, go to settings here. Now make sure that it is in the user mode, not in the workspace mode and uh, go to extensions. Now code runner configuration. And you should see whether to, uh, okay, uh, you can take this clear previous output and uh, whether to run a uh, code in integrated terminal you need to take this okay then i think rest are fine in here only ah, oh, edit settings.json 
duplicate uh yours may be something like uh, uh, nothing will be there like this so leave it like that and search for settings.json now uh, you will see a blue link uh, saying open default settings.json uh, open it basically and search for executor map and you will be here okay copy it copy this first line basically if this whole thing was not here so you will you do not need any of these like right now you can just uh, paste code runner executor map and for the uh, for i think for python uh, it is default to python 2 you need to change it to python 3 like write it like this python 3 uh, dash u okay and for c++ it is default for uh, default it is c++ 11 and uh, you need to just add this a minus stdc equal to c++ 17 to run it in c++ 17 uh, language uh, basically just add it and uh, it doesn't matter what was previously written or what was after it just uh, don't change anything just add this this much and uh, everything should be fine now we move on to our next section so hello guys in this section i will uh, i will show you how to how you can create templates basically templates are pre-written code which you have to write after every question for example when we code in code chef uh, the input format remains almost the same the first line always contains the number of test cases and all so basically we have to copy the code every time we uh, every time we start a new question and by creating a template it will save us a lot of time right so here how here is how you can do it just uh, just search user snippet generator generator and this first link just go to your, this first link and you will be here okay uh, now i already went here and this is my template code basically i want this much code already written uh, i don't want to repeat this in every question and you can write the name of the code you can use any name which you seem which uh, which seems right for you you can use cp template like me or you can just type boiler plate code or anything which you which you think is uh, sorry uh, which you think is fine for you uh, it does not matter and uh, now just copy snippet uh, go to settings and uh, user snippets Select cpp.json. Uh, if you do not find it here, you can just search for it and press enter. Now, uh, after the comments end, you can just paste everything that you copied over there here. Okay. And uh, now, if I type cp template here, uh, no, sorry, boilerplate, I named it boilerplate code then you will see that my cursor is here and not where i want it right here right so to do that we can just press uh, we can just type dollar zero here okay and now if i just remove this and type it again you will see my cursor is here and i can start coding uh, immediately right after i see uh, right after i think of the logic hello guys in this section i will show you how to remove this error of uh, this not module not found but c plus plus dot h so to do this what you can do is uh, just type any module which is already available like io stream then uh, right click it go to the definition and uh, you can right click here and reveal in finder here now once we are uh, at this directory you need to just google it uh, bits std c++ dot h not found in mac and there will be a stack overflow ring link at the top uh, okay second top and uh, this just go to this github link i will put this link in the description uh, and click on raw just uh okay now let's go back to the vs code so we have this finder here 
IO stream, we need to create this folder called bits and uh, we will put a file named stdc++.h in bits. Okay. So let's create the folder first here. Bits and uh, copy any .h file like std.h whatever. I will copy this one and put it in the in our bits folder. Now here. And you can just open it in VS Code. Okay. Now go to our Google Chrome and we will copy everything from here. Command C, Command A, Command C, and uh, remove everything from here, from here and paste everything here. Okay. Now, okay, I forgot to rename this one. Let's rename it std c dot h. Okay now everything is working uh, now this this error should uh, disappear in some time okay it's gone so uh, this is how we resolve this issue uh, i hope you followed it right and uh, now we can move on to the next section so hello guys now i'm going to show you how we can use all these no, all the knowledge that we have gathered up till now so first we are going to create a folder name it anything uh, i'm going to just name it cp right click quick action open in vs code and uh, open chrome open, you can uh, now open any question which you, you would like to code uh, it works almost on any website like codeshare code forces uh, cscs i've tried it might not work every time but uh, 99% of times it works okay so uh, i will just open a random question here and uh, just uh, and now we have to click on this competitive companion extension and uh, now we have to select our language in which we want to code so c++ python java anything uh, will work and uh, ignore this warning forever so what we can see here is that, that uh, this one just uh, it imports the sample test cases here and we can also create a new test case if we want right and uh, we can uh, write a corresponding output uh, and uh, just type boilerplate code or whatever you named your template and you can start coding here so this is it guys this is all for today and uh, i hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you have any doubts or suggestions you can put them in the comments below and uh, i will see you in the next video